that bridge behind us is named in honour of Robert Hugman and his vision. But if you saw the movie Selena with Jennifer Lopez from the late 1990s, it was based on the life of the great singer Selena Quintanilla. Oh, up here on the right-hand side where Saltgrass is, this building is the Casino Club building. And uh, it was built in 1927. It was... into the river. That signifies eternal and everlasting love. That has been a very popular activity at that spot since about 2012. There are thousands of love locks on that bridge back there as a consequence of that activity over the past decade. Directly in front of the boat up ahead, the natural San Antonio River. The river from here winds its way lazily northwards about another four miles further upstream. Well, as you can see, people like to take a stroll along the riverbank. It's pretty flat, pretty easy going. So uh, it, it presents a great opportunity for some exercise and also to maybe work off a big meal. Also gives you the chance to see more of our historic river walk for a few more miles further upstream. We're going to leave this man-made channel with a right-hand turn getting back onto the natural San Antonio River. Here in front of us, the other floodgate that I mentioned that protects the city. When the floodwaters come down the river from the north, they slide this floodgate down from up above. It seals off the river, stopping the floodwaters going into the city to cause any damage. Well, the worst flood to hit San Antonio happened back in the year 1921. In that flood, we are told from all the reports, the floodwaters were nine feet deep across the city streets. Well, there's a city street in front of us, a Mary Street. So you imagine nine feet of water over the top of that bridge. You'll get an idea of just how deep the floodwaters were going through this part of the river back in that tragic flood of 1921, long before they installed the floodgates to protect the city. On our right-hand side, the very historic Esquire Tavern, the oldest tavern on the Riverwalk, the Esquire, opened its doors as a tavern the day after prohibition was lifted in the United States in 1933. And then next door to the Esquire and up above, this is the newest hotel on the Riverwalk. It's the Canopy Hotel. There are 22 stories above us. The Canopy, brand new here in San Antonio, it's only been open a very short while. So around the city of San Antonio, we are fortunate that we have a number of historic old theaters that have been lovingly restored and brought back to life. And one of those theatres is called the Aztec Theatre over here on the right where I'm pointing. This is the Aztec, built in 1926, the theatre you would come to in the 1920s and 30s if you wanted to see the latest movies from Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, Rudolph Valentino, all showing here at the Aztec Theatre. Sadly though, the theatre fell into a little bit of disrepair over the years. It was closed down, it was renovated and then it was opened up as a concert venue and some of the performers that have been at the Aztec since they've opened it include Journey, Styx, CZ Top, Eddie Money, Dave Chappelle, Casey and the Sunshine Band and Olivia Newton-John, just to name some. Now this pretty little bridge, this is the Robert Hugman Bridge. Robert Hugman, I've mentioned the name a few times, the man we call the father of the Riverwalk back in the 1920s. He was an architect here in San Antonio and Robert Hugman had a vision for the muddy little San Antonio River. And his vision turned into the San Antonio River Walk we're all enjoying today. And uh, that bridge behind us is named in honour of Robert Hugman and his vision. But if you saw the movie Selena with Jennifer Lopez from the late 1990s, it was based on the life of the great singer Selena Quintanilla. They filmed a lot of that movie here in San Antonio when there's a memorable scene in the movie with J-Lo sitting on that bridge back there, so we also call that bridge Selena's Bridge. And the building on our left hand side, it came into being in 1853 as a boys boarding school. Now that school grew and grew over the years till it eventually turned into St. Mary's University Law School. In time, the law school outgrew this location, so they moved the campus outside the city, the building was sold and renovated. It became a hotel, now it is the Omni La Mansion Hotel. Coming up in front of the boat, on the left hand side of the river, here comes the restaurant Bubba Gump. Well as we come out from under the bridge, have a look at the building up on top of Bubba Gump, high on the left. It looks like the building above us up here is balancing on one wall up there. Well a 
I don't think we're in any danger. That building has actually been there since 1930. That is the former Nix Hospital. No longer a hospital though. The building on the left is now being closed and sold. And in time, it will become a new luxury hotel here on the Riverwalk. Well, some of the people who were born in the Nix Hospital back in the day when it was operating was uh, the legendary entertainer, Carol Burnett, who grew up here in San Antonio. And also Colonel Oliver North, also born in the historic Nix Hospital. Now coming up in front of the boat, here comes the uh, hotel, the Hyatt Regency Hotel. And this hotel in front of us was built in 1981. Now when they built this hotel in front of the boat, they kept the height of the building to 16 stories. That was done for a reason. You see, on the other side of this hotel, from where we are, sits the Alamo. And nobody really wanted to see the Alamo in uh, shadow when the sun sets in the west. If you haven't been to the Alamo, a good way to find it, get back to this part of the river, just go up to the left here through these doors, past the elevator, follow the little man-made river underneath that hotel, and when you pop out on the other side of the building, you'll be standing in front of the Alamo up there. So they uh, determined that this hotel on our left should be kept to 16 stories in height, which they did, and that way they ensured that when the uh, sun sets in the west at the end of every day, the Alamo on the other side of the building will never be in shade. Well, up here on the right-hand side where Saltgrass is, this building is the Casino Club building. And uh, it was built in 1927. It was never a casino, though. It was always just a social club. Well, up on top of the building here above us on the right, overhead, there are apartments up there. Not a bad place to live, if you ask me. And one of the famous residents that lived in those apartments up there in years gone by, the author Alex Haley. He lived here in San Antonio for a short while in this building. He must have enjoyed his time here because he encouraged his good friend Maya Angelo to come and live here as well, which she did. And she fell in love with San Antonio and the Riverwalk, just like Alex Haley. Well, always a pretty popular part of the river for the obvious reasons through here. This is known as River Square. Lots of great restaurants, as you can see, either side, all sorts of fabulous dining experiences. Now before we go underneath the Commerce Street Bridge, which is coming up in front of us, that's the oldest bridge on the Riverwalk, there's a building on the right that has a curved balcony just ahead. Now on the balcony on the right it says Hugman Architect. Well I've mentioned Robert Hugman a couple of times, the man we call the father of the Riverwalk. He designed the Riverwalk we're all enjoying and this building over here on the right that bears his name on the front of it was Robert Hugman's architect office in the 1940s as the Riverwalk was being constructed. Near the staircase on the right, tucked away in the corner near the flowers there, a bust of Robert Hugman. That's what he looked like, and a little bit of a storyboard that gives some information on how the San Antonio Riverwalk came to be with Robert Hugman's influence. Well, we're coming up to this iconic restaurant here in front of the boat with the colourful umbrellas. This is called Casa Rio. Now, Casa Rio was the first restaurant to open on the San Antonio Riverwalk. It opened in 1946 and it was opened by Alfred Beyer. And you know, to this day, Alfred Beyer's family still own and operate this restaurant. Well, back in the 1940s, when the restaurant opened, the custom was you would come down here to the river, you would enjoy your delicious meal here at Casa Rio, and then you would take a uh, gondola ride up and down the river where we are right here. And that practice gave rise to San Antonio's nickname back in those days, which was America's Venice. So we're just going to take it carefully underneath this little bridge. As you see, only one boat at a time. Oh, over there on the right-hand side, there's another view of the Lego Hotel. That's the hotel that I mentioned earlier that they built room by room, lifting up those rooms one by one, stacking them up on top of each other. Well, we've left the natural San Antonio River here with this left-hand turn. We've swung into this man-made channel. And it was completed back in 1968, a big year for the city. As I mentioned earlier, it was the year the World's Fair came to town. It was called Hemisphere. Now, Hemisphere brought six million visitors to the city to be a part of all the fun of the World's Fair. There was a need for a better transport system to move those six million people around the city and to get them closer to the World's Fair located underneath the Tower of the Americas. So this channel was completed and it extended the Riverwalk a little further into this part of the city 
allowing those 6 million visitors and all the locals easier access to the World's Fair, which we'll see shortly underneath the Tower of the Americas. The building on our left-hand side, the Chamber of Commerce building. Now, their role is to attract and promote business in the city. Well, there are four flags out the front of the building. The United States flag, of course, on the left. Next to that is the Texas flag. The flag at this end is the Chamber of Commerce flag. The other red, white and blue flag in the middle, or well, that is the San Antonio flag. It features the Alamo on that flag. Now, back in 1985, there were plans to build a new hotel downtown. But there was a bit of an issue. There was already a hotel sitting on the site where they wanted to build the new one. The hotel that was already there, a very historic hotel. It was called the Fairmount Hotel. And it had been sitting on that spot since 1906. Nobody wanted to see the Fairmount destroyed just to build another hotel in its place. So they had a problem. Well, a team of engineers were brought in with their advice. They said, leave it to us. In March of 1985, the engineers all got to work. They jacked up the three-storey, 1,600-ton Fairmount Hotel. They then loaded that entire hotel onto the back of 36 giant dollies and proceeded to tow that hotel for half a mile through the streets of the city to another location. That half-mile journey, towing the Fairmount Hotel through the San Antonio streets, took six days to complete because they were travelling at less than one mile an hour towing the hotel. They eventually got the fam out to where they wanted it. They put it down. It's still there today. The hotel they built in its place back in Nariat Hotel. Now also in front of the boat, the newest art feature on the Riverwalk. This is called Stargazer. Stargazer is 16 feet high. It has an, it has made up of over 80 blocks of volcanic stone put together by the artist Pedro Reyes. And over on the right-hand side of the boat, where I'm pointing up between the trees, there is the symbol of the World's Fair, the big, tall, circular Tower of the Americas. 750 feet high. It has an observation deck right at the very top. There's also a revolving restaurant up there called the Chart House, and it turns around once every hour, offering panoramic views of the city. It really is a special place to be later in the day when all the city lights start coming on. Well, folks, we've arrived back to where we started from, and I hope you enjoyed your journey around the river. I hope you enjoyed those stories over the last half hour. Hopefully something new in there you didn't know about San Antonio a little while ago. As we come into dock, I'm going to ask a couple of things of you. Please remain seated just for a moment while I tie up the boat. Also, before you leave, please do me a favour, check around, and make sure you take all of your personal belongings with you. If you discover later that you've actually left something on the boat, I don't want you to panic. You'll be able to get it back tomorrow very, very easily by just going online. Head to ebay.com. You'll find it there at a very low and a very attractive starting price. Now, if you enjoyed the tour and you think I did a good job as a captain, you enjoyed the stories, tips are allowed, they're more than welcome, very much appreciated. And I thank you so much. I'm going to leave my little tip jar here on the helmet. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. I hope you uh, enjoyed the tour. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them once yeah, we got the idea. boat. Once again, my name is Captain Stu. We hope to see you back on the river walk again in the near future. Thanks, everyone. Just remain seated for one moment while I tie down the boat. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Ito na pindibang US sa Ah, oh, sa alam mo? Church, church man siya. Thanks everybody, please watch your steps on the way up. Have a great day. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. Thank Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please watch your steps. Take your time. Thank you so much. Watch where you put your finger. Ayan, tapos na po ang ating Riverwalk Kinemi Blues Tour. Ayan, thank you so much. Ang rami kong nalaman, Dai. Ngayon ko lang nalaman, Dai, na social studies major pa naman ako. So wala akong alam. <laughs> Diyos ko. Ayan, thank you so much for the tour. Perfect, perfect. This serving is a fifty dollar. <laughs> <Charing. laughs>